Seeing the great need for total quality eye care, St. Luke's Medical Center has established a facility that would dedicate itself to the preservation, improvement, and even restoration of sight. Welcome to the St. Luke's International Eye Institute. The first ophthalmological institute in the Philippines to operate outside of a university and within a joint commission international accredited hospital. Uh, the Philippines, we have almost uh, half a million blind and 80% uh, of these are avoidable. The current eye problems in the country can be basically divided into three. Okay, so you have the uh, age-related eye problems, okay, two, you have the uh, congenital or the, what we see in childhood, and three, uh, these are the trauma you know, or the injury related uh, eye problems. No? So uh, for the age-related eye problems, the most common is still cataract. No? That because uh, cataract is very common, uh, it can happen to everybody who ages, no? so that's still the number one. After cataract, you have problems of glaucoma. Okay, that is still because glaucoma is something that has to be detected. Uh, patients usually don't feel anything if they have glaucoma, no? and if they feel something, it's usually too late. Then you have your diabetes-related uh, problems you should also see in the elderly because these are the age group that would have highest uh, prevalence of diabetes. No? So they have uh, uh, bleeding in the retina due to the uh, complications of diabetes in the eye. And uh, they also have the macular degeneration where in uh, the, as, as you get older, no, part of the retina, the most sensitive parts called the macula wherein it also develops certain degenerative changes uh, that can uh, cause uh, blindness or loss of vision. And then let's talk about the children. No? So in children you have uh, the very young, no? in those, especially those we have a high in, uh, percentage of survival now of very of premature children no? but still there's a chance pa of developing what we call retina, retinopathy of prematurity or ROP. And that has that is preventable. The complication is preventable if again if detected early. You have children now with use glasses much earlier now, no, because uh, they have nearsighted, they're astigmat they have astigmatism, they are farsighted. Again, early detection is very important for this group because they have a whole life ahead of them, no. So if you're able to reverse the problem of what we call lazy eye or amblyopia, then you improve their productivity through life, no. So and of course the uh, Injury is very common for a certain segment of our society. Those uh, usually those in the in the construction business. No, those are those work those working in the field. Okay, and even children, not just playing, no, can really have a very very severe eye injury that can lead to loss of vision. So, uh, as you would see, the uh, a lot of these eye conditions are preventable okay with proper education and proper screening a lot of eye diseases if detected early then you'll be able to preserve vision for these patients uh, there are a number of hospitals that provide eye services even some eye centers but uh, i believe that saint luke's would like to provide everything uh, in terms of the expertise in terms of the equipments so that no Filipino will have to travel abroad uh, to find some uh, eye help in terms of uh, surgeries, in terms of uh, diagnostic procedures that might be necessary. So St. Luke's uh, Institute of Ophthalmology, the International Eye Institute, we felt that we would like to provide everything here. St. Luke's provided us all the equipments and then St. Luke's also recruited the best uh, ophthalmologists in the country to provide the expertise and the services. Of course, we do research also as a, in order to be able to deliver okay, efficient, safe, and effective care to the patient. And of course, part of research, we have the training you know, here at the Eye Institute in St. Luke's Medical Center, Quezon City. Okay, we have a very strong uh, ophthalmology residency training program. St. Luke's never turns a blind eye on pursuing excellence. 
The International Eye Institute utilizes a unique combination of cutting-edge equipment and a highly specialized team of consultants who are trained in various ophthalmic subspecialties. Eye experts at St. Luke's International Eye Institute treat visual disorders in line with their specialization, customizing each treatment in accordance with the ailment of each patient. Here at the uh, St. Luke's Medical Center International Eye Institute, no, every member of the staff is a diplomat of the uh, Philippine Board of Ophthalmology. It means that every ophthalmologist is certified to be, co to be competent, to be highly capable, to be compassionate and ethical in terms of delivery of eye care. And aside from that, no, a lot of our staff have further training. Okay? Not only in general ophthalmology, they go beyond and have specialized training, let's say in the retina, in cutter, in, co in the cornea, in refractive surgery, in glaucoma, in uveitis, in oculoplasty. Okay, and they were trained not not only in the country, no, but in the in major eye centers all over the world. The staff here at the St. Luke's uh, Global are all composed of a specialty, a board certified specialty in ophthalmology. So that's the main distinction. Uh, we do not have general uh, ophthalmologists in our staff. All the services are provided for and then the doctors here uh, refer to each subspecialty depending on the needs of the patient. So the different distinction is we have subspecialties in global only. The Institute takes pride in the combined expertise of highly skilled, well-trained optomic surgeons, along with the technical staff, optomic nurses, optomic photographers, optomic assistants, and optometrists on board. The training they receive, coupled with years of hands-on medical experience, assures each patient of a high level of expertise. Clearly, St. Luke's International Eye Institute is equipped with the most advanced facilities intended for ophthalmic surgery. The Institute has advanced operating equipment designed for ophthalmic surgery along with three exclusive operating suites. It also boasts of an array of state-of-the-art ophthalmic machines and equipment useful in the treatment and diagnosis of a variety of eye conditions. The International Eye Institute provides a string of services that help patients regain eye health. Well, as I mentioned earlier, cataract is a very common eye problem. It's still the most common eye surgery done at the Eye Institute. And I'm sure anywhere, any eye center in the world, cataract is still their primary procedure. Um, again, we do cutting-edge cataract uh, surgery here from diagnostic, Okay, all the way to the surgery itself and even up to the uh, post-operative care. Meaning to say we can provide simple phacoemulsification to a phacic uh, IOL implantation uh, to combine refractive cataract surgery so that the patient will have uh, no problems in astigmatism and we also have uh, bifocal or multifocal uh, implantation of intraocular lenses. So we have a whole gamut of services within the cataract service. Again, our refractive surgery, I would say, it's still the best equipped in this country. We have now the femtosecond laser, and uh, between St. Luke's Quezon City and St. Luke's Global, uh, we have uh, three laser machines. Considering that we have the uh, very sophisticated eczema laser machines and plus all the diagnostic equipment that comes with it, Okay, and over at Global City, we have the uh, femtosecond laser, uh, which is the only one available here in the country. And with all those, and aside from that, it's not only uh, laser refractive surgery. No, we can, can also do the whole range of even a fake lens implant. We can do um, uh, other procedures no, that goes beyond what the uh, laser can do. Oh, the macular disease service, as I mentioned earlier, it's a, a ma the macular degeneration is something that will go up in the future as our population ages. So we, we also have a very strong macular surgery, macular disease service 
okay, that again uh, delivers specialized care for this group of patients. It is also our major concern here in St. Luke's because we want to be in the forefront in trying to uh, answer this new uh, problem, especially in the aging population. So the macular service is supposed to, to answer uh, all the requirements and the needs in terms of research and services in trying to return back whatever vision that is still present in the patient. The ROP service is uh, only very few uh, of eye centers in this country can offer this kind of services because primarily you're dealing with neonates, no? with these very, very small newborns, okay, and again, being able to treat them properly, you need again very specialized care and very specialized equipment, which the International Eye Institute can deliver. I believe that uh, St. Luke's uh, Medical Center is in the forefront of the uh, retinopathy of prematurity. We have uh, sent our staff abroad for further training and it is our idea that St. Luke's Medical Center will be the center of ROP in the Philippines. Diabetes is one of the major concerns that we have. Uh, it is a rising problem. A lot of um, people now are developing this uh, diabetic retinopathy as one of the major causes of blindness. That service was established in order to give a one-stop shop okay, for the patient wherein they get the total care as far as the diabetic eye diseases are concerned. Because diabetes not only affects the retina, can also cause um, problems of cataracts. Okay, they can make the patient have dry eye you know, and, other, and other conditions. Okay, glaucoma is a disease that uh, a lot of times so they have to be monitored throughout life. Okay, so uh, we pride with our glaucoma service. Again, we have machines and equipment you know, that sort that will be able to keep your record okay, and monitor the disease progression over time. Oh, we are uh, here again uh, top nuts in terms of glaucoma service. Uh, we have uh, in our roster uh, the most number of uh, glaucoma specialists in the country and uh, of course uh, they are into research likewise and uh, they can provide all the technology and the surgical expertise needed to solve glaucoma problems. The corneal transplant or limbal st and limbal stem cell plus ocular surface service is uh, addressing all the problems on, on the surface of the eye. Okay, and uh, we pride ourselves to be able to do uh, limbal stem cell surgery. We can do ex vivo expansion limbal stem cells in coordination with the uh, research and biotechnology division. And we are the only one who can offer that service. We have in our roster uh, uh, the president of the Santa Lucia Eye Bank. And of course, because of our femtosecond laser, we can now do our corneal transplant uh, using the femtosecond, which is a more precise way of uh, preparing the bed, uh, both for the patient and both for the donor. And uh, we can also do DSEC and DALC uh, in our center. Uh, we have uh, the technology and the expertise. The ocular aesthetic service, okay, uh, provides cosmetic surgery for the eye, but they, they also do reconstructive surgery for the eye. I would say the main advantage is uh, they, being ophthalmologists themselves, uh, they have a very good understanding of the structure and the function of the eye. So uh, I believe that um, as far as the reconstruction and cosmesis of the eye is concerned, our, aesthetic, our ocular aesthetic service can do a very good job. Our service, our oculoplastic service, is tied up with our cosmetic and our aesthetic center here in uh, St. Luke's Global. So we don't only do the oculoplastic portion, but we have a total facial reconstruction and the whole body uh, reconstruction if the patient needs to have one. The pediatric eye disease service takes care of our patients who are who have lazy eye or what we call amblyopia and they also take care of all these children with what we call um, the duling and the banlags, okay, the isotropia and the exotropias and other uh, deviations of the eyelid, of the eyeball, 
Okay, and they have a very long experience, and I would say that they are they're able to uh, gain a lot of expertise from their experience in the past. We were the first one to do laser refractive uh, procedures in pediatric patients. We have the uveitis uh, service and the immunology service. Uh, it is a complete uh, uh, service because we have the RBD to support all our requirements for uh, immunology, uh, immune staining and uh, all the other requirements in trying to identify uh, immune problems. Again, being situated inside St. Luke's Medical Center is very important because in the diagnosis and treatment of these kind of problems, you also need sophisticated equipments that is used by the other parts of the hospital. After everything is said and done, if a patient has a certain condition where no treatment is already available to make them see better, we still have the Lowe's Vision Service that can provide them with certain tools and gadgets or even training to be able to rehabilitate whatever vision that is left to make the, the patient functional and um, productive. Visit St. Luke's International Eye Institute and discover how our expertise will help you see new hope. St. Luke's International Eye Institute, the expert in visual health. Ultimately, it is expertise.